Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and we have a brand new free pattern for you. It's called Stitches from the Heart and you're gonna love it for Valentine's Day. It's a completely free pattern and we have two size options. You can make the mini or you can make the wall size. It's super easy. I'm gonna show you how to do all of this and we also have a free cross stitch chart also. If you're gonna do the wall size, you need three inch finished triangle paper, triangles on a roll. If you're gonna do the mini size, you will need one inch finished half square triangle paper. I'll be using Creative Grids today and I'm gonna use Arfil Color 2000 and let's get started. This quilt is made of lots of half square triangles and today I'm gonna demonstrate the wall size. Super easy, you just have to take your time and it's gonna be really scrappy, which is a really fun. So here we start with eight different fabrics and we did a range of red, darkest red all the way to the lightest pink. Today we're featuring Bella Solids and the white we're using is 9900-200. And for this step, you're just gonna pick three fabric Fs. So I'm just randomly gonna pick three of these and set these aside. And then these are my fabric Cs. You're gonna put right sides together and when you use triangles on a roll triangle paper, it's gonna give you really accurate results and it's gonna go really fast. So you can get this whole quilt done in one day. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna cut off three sections that are one by two. So six total. So I will start cutting here. You want to cut exactly on the line as close as you can get. And this is three inch triangle paper. You'll be using the same exact method on the smaller one, just different triangle paper. And they're both fun. It's fun to do both of them. And so from here, you just lay this down. I like to pin these in place and keep the pins away from the stitching lines. So maybe three pins would work. And then on this step, I'm gonna show you how triangle paper works and how it's so fast and you're gonna love it. And we made the triangles just a little bit bigger so you don't have to worry too much about trimming down. When I'm working with triangle paper, I use an open toe foot so that when I'm stitching, I can actually see my stitches. You will stitch directly on the dotted lines all four of them. I'm going to use a regular needle, which is an 8012, but I'm going to set my stitch length to 0.5 less than normal. So I normally stitch with a 2.0 stitch length. On triangle paper, I will do a 1.5 stitch length. So we're going to stitch all these lines and come right back. So we have all of this stitch. We want to trim on your solid lines. So I like to trim on all four sides first. And cutting on the lines very precisely will give you better results. And I'm gonna cut in the center here. This center line does not matter because this will be in your seam allowance. And on this quilt, there are a lot of seams and a lot of triangles going on. So we are going to press everything open. To pull the paper off, I like to crease everything down at one time. And this is a great project for your kids. So I never really pulled paper off anymore. My kids do it for me. 
it should come right off. And I'm gonna show you how to press. What I like to do when I'm pressing open, first I'm gonna set my seam. Setting your seam just locks in your stitches. And I'm gonna show you on one of the triangles. We'll press to one side first. Let that sit. And here at this point, I'm going to clip off the dog ears. Then I am going to press open. I will just finger press it open, run the iron down it, let that sit about five seconds, and then I'm gonna put a Taylor's clapper right on top and that is going to absorb the wood, it's gonna absorb the heat, and you are going to make 12 half square triangles that look just like this. Now you're gonna to get to have a lot of fun by using the remaining Fabric F rectangles. And here you get to be super fun and scrappy. You're gonna cut 14 more sections of triangle paper that have two sections. And you're gonna just pick two different Fabric Fs, put them right sides together. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Stitch on your lines just like we did. And you're gonna see that you get a big variety of colors, and that's the beauty of this quilt is that in the end, you're gonna have lots of colors and it's gonna be nice and beautiful. Now here you want to follow your pattern and you can either assemble units by making one unit, one unit, and one unit. Or for me, I'm gonna lay out everything right here so I can really get the placement of my fabrics to be scrappy. So that's what we're gonna do is just lay out our fabrics right here. So when you're done, you will have a stack of leftover half square triangles. You can use this to do a fun piece backing or save it for another project. And now at this point, I'm just gonna kind of look and see do I have too much red in one spot or do I wanna swap anything out? And because we made extras, you should have plenty if you wanna swap anything out. So get everything laid out and then come back to your pattern and you're going to stitch your segments together following the arrows and then i'm going to show you how to do the next step and now we're going to take our fabric a squares we have two of them we're going to cut them in half and then we're going to put this on the side of our quilt to make our quilt on point and we're going to trim it down so what you want to do is when you put your ruler here i'm going to use my creative grids ruler and if i put the line the 45 degree line right here that is where i want to start cutting If you put the 45 degree line here, you know that it's going to line up. So you'll cut and then just move your ruler a little bit. And then from here, I am going to fold these in half, put a little crease, So this creates a center mark on our Fabric A triangles, which we will use to line up on the sides of our quilt. So this is how our quilt looks straight. We're gonna create the heart on point. The way we're gonna do that, we're gonna find the center. This is the center. You're gonna take a fabric A triangle. 
take a fabric A triangle, line up this center crease with the center pin, and I am going to pin all the way across. I'll probably just put a pin in every little square to keep it in place. This triangle is on the bias, so the more pins you have, the less wavy it will be when you put this under your sewing machine. So we'll rotate this. I'm going to do two sides at one time. Again, find the center. Line it up with the center of your triangle. And pin. We're going to go to the sewing machine. We're going to stitch with a 2.0 stitch length and a quarter inch foot. And we're going to sew down both of these seams. So once you have your triangles attached, I'm going to press my seam flat. That is going to set the seam and just lock your stitches in and make it easier to press toward your triangle. So I'm going to press toward the white, finger press first, and when I'm ironing here, I'm going to put the iron right on the edge of this seam. And I'm not going to rock my iron. Just right on the edge. That'll get it nice and flat. And do that on both sides. So now we have this pressed, I'm going to use a Creative Grids ruler and cut off these little dog ears. There should be four of them. And then we are going to add triangles to the other side, doing the same exact thing. Find the center, align it, pin, and stitch. And remember when you're adding the triangles, you're going to be using your quarter inch foot or quarter inch seam. iron the last two pieces the same way you did the previous. Set your seam. Finger press flat. Now we have this beautiful heart quilt. We're gonna trim a quarter inch around so that this is just square on the outside. To do that, because it's so large, I'm going to use a friction pen to mark it first before I cut anything, just because I don't wanna mess it up. You can use your 45 degree line on your Creative Grids ruler. We're gonna trim half inch around the outside point. So we'll put our 45 degree line half inch marker, and I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to do this around the entire quilt before I trim just because it's so big and I want to make sure everything stays straight. So on this one, I will line up with the line half inch away. And by drawing the lines, it just kind of keeps me straight.
and then I can adjust if it's not if it's if it's not exact or doesn't look right I can adjust before I actually cut because I just don't want to mess it up Each time I'm doing the 45 degree mark, half inch, starting there. And you can see that all the way around, I've just got about an eighth of an inch to cut off. And now I feel more comfortable cutting because I know that everything is lining up. So I'm just gonna start trimming and just trim on your lines. And again, we're cutting about half inch away from the quilt top. To this side because it looks like I didn't get all of it so I'm going to line up the top scoot over and it looks like it's correct you can see at the top of our heart there is a lot of space compared to the bottom of our heart so we want this to come out square so we have cut a fabric D strip that is 35 inches wide I'm gonna find the center of that Mark it. I'm going to put that in the very center of the top. And we're going to just add this strip to the bottom. And then we're going to just stitch this with a quarter inch seam. Now I'm going to set this seam. Then you can give your quilt top an all over press. So if you measure your quilt top at the top, that is 35 inches. And if you look at your quilt top, it is fatter over here. So we're going to use the lines on our mat to trim the top down. Now you don't have to do this, but this is going to give you a square quilt and a lot of times wall hangings are square. So I'm going to just put the line on the 35 inch mark, use the line on your ruler and trim. And you're just trimming the top off. That's gonna put the heart right in the very center of your quilt. And your quilt top is gonna look nice and square now. We hope you've enjoyed our Stitches with the Heart series. In the quilt, you can make either a wall or a mini, and you can go on over to our Cross Stitch channel and download our free cross stitch pattern to make a pillow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.